Hey everybody. <laughs> um, don't want to take a guess where I'm at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I am actually in the hospital. I got admitted yesterday morning. I've actually have been here since Thursday, October. I think 28th. I'm not sure. But today is Saturday, October 30th. Tomorrow is Halloween. So most likely, yes, I will be spending Halloween in the hospital. Um, don't worry, everything is perfectly fine with baby girl. Um, they do a stress test every day. I'm actually not here for her. I'm here. It's a little TMI, but it's okay. I'm going to share with you guys. I want to keep it real with you guys, you know. It's our channel. That's what I promised in the beginning. Um, I'm actually here because, um, I suffer with constipation already as it is. And being pregnant has made things a little more difficult when it comes to using the restroom. Um, I actually have been backed up for about a week and a half now. Um, today is Saturday. I actually did use the restroom a little bit. I've gone through so much the past couple days being here. Um, at first, they wanted... Um, the first day I was here in the evening, I had to drink one of these. You guys might see these at Walgreens and stuff. Um, it's magnesium citrate saline laxative. It's to help me go because basically baby is pushed up against my intestines. So all my intestines and all my organs are just kind of squished in there. So it's making me harder to use the bathroom because as you guys know, I'm in the wheelchair and I don't even get to walk around. So that makes it even more difficult <laughs> to go. Um, so they want to keep me in here until my body is regulated and I could get on a regular bowel movement program, which I'm not even bugged about because honestly, they're helping me so, so much here. I'm actually at UNM. I had the chaplain come in and pray with me this morning. That's actually what I woke up to was the chaplain knocking on the door and seeing if he could pray with me or what or what I needed um physical therapy did come in here as well they brought me these green bands you could probably see right there and right there I have an IV connected right here but I'm not on any IV fluids or anything because I'm actually doing pretty well with fluids however I am on an all-liquid diet for now until I could use the restroom a little bit more so, poor me and baby girl. We haven't really had anything great to eat since Thursday morning. Um, and at that, I was nervous because I had to come to the hospital. So, I only had like three bites of my burrito. Um, I'm, but, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of... Oh, my goodness. I forgot what it's called. Um, so, the first night I was here, they gave me this drink. My body did not hold it down. Like, it doesn't taste bad to me. But once it hit my stomach, a couple minutes after, I threw it all up. However, yesterday I was able to put half a bottle down. I still hadn't used the restroom. So in the middle of the night, they gave me this um, other med. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. However, I drink half a cup of that. They normally give it to people who are going to go into surgery or have a colonoscopy. Um, but I only drink half a cup. They wanted me to drink the whole gallon, but it was pretty late. They wanted me to work on it today and try to drink about half the gallon. However, since I did have a bowel movement, they're just going to order me another one of these to see if this helps. Fingers crossed, guys, that it does because um, that tastes a lot better than the other stuff. And this half a bottle I was able to keep down. So I'm glad about that. I'm hoping soon I can eat regular food because I am hungry. <laughs> Um, also, if you guys are wondering where Jeremiah is, um, last night they told me I could have my 24-hour person, which of course is my husband, Jeremiah. You guys all know him. Um, so they told me I could have my 24-hour person plus one more visitor. However, I interpreted it wrong, or the nurse might have explained it a little bit um, wrong last night to me. So my father-in-law actually is here, but he's downstairs. Um... So him, my husband went downstairs with him just so they could visit for a while and he was able to 
Um, take them to go get some lunch because, yeah, food gets expensive here in the hospital. We're waiting for some food vouchers, but we still haven't received those. And we're almost broke. <laughs> um, yeah, so just keep watching and I will film little clips here and there. Maybe of me exercising or transferring or maybe when the doctors come in to connect me to the stress test monitor thing. But prayers that I could at least maybe go home by Monday or Tuesday and I could get some solid food soon. But I just want to tell you guys thank you so much for supporting me. I'm sorry I haven't been here. Um, sometime this week I will do my second trimester recap and let you guys know how baby girl is doing. Um... Yeah, so, I don't even feel sick, guys. I literally am just in here because I got so backed up. I did a CT scan uh, yesterday morning, like about, I think it was like 6.30 in the morning, 5.36 in the morning. Um, so, the reason why I have the IV is from that because they were putting, um, I forget what the stuff is called that they put in here. But, yeah, um, my room is really really nice so i'm gonna show you guys but excuse the mess because i have stuff all over the tray um my husband has his blanket just thrown on the bed he didn't fold or nothing this morning um but yeah i'm pretty much kind of taking this time to relax and enjoy myself and not stress about anything especially since i have baby girl however me and my husband did have an outfit to wear tomorrow so you'll be seeing that probably in my second trimester recap because my shirt actually is a pumpkin on the belly for Harmony, but unfortunately, I might be here tomorrow. So, we'll probably, like, get ready sometime this week and take some pictures once we go home. But yeah, just keep watching and we will see what else I'm up to. But as of right now, I'm just kind of hanging out watching some TV and YouTube. So, there's not much to show you guys, but let me show you guys our room my wheelchair that's just a little bag I have in case I can't hold food down and I need to throw up behind this curtain's the door then I have some cabinets I'm able to put stuff in but we don't have that much stuff here um right there is our bathroom I have a window over there you can't really see the view then my husband's bed let's see if it's kind of focusing if you look through the window, you can't really see it, but I'll try to get a picture, actually, for the cover photo. But that big window has the um, view of the Sandia Mountains here in Albuquerque. And then I also have this big old window. I believe that's the Cancer Center building. But yes, I am loving the view. It's gorgeous. There you go. You can see it a little bit better there. And then I'm just watching some TV makes time go by faster but um yeah um oh yeah this is another um thing they gave me to try to exercise with for my legs and this is just like my tv guide and stuff and this is just some other stuff i need as well as toothbrushes deodorant eye mask stuff like that the hospital gave me but yeah thank you guys so much and yeah look who's back guys sorry they let me leave the room to go on a little walk. I went outside, but I couldn't find where I put my phone. <laughs> so we're going to head back to the room now because they want to put some IV fluids. So me and the babies doesn't get dehydrated. Did you have a good time with that? Actually, yeah. That's good. It was. So, yep. You get your back up here. You get some fluids in here. I'm actually very proud of her. She's doing very good. Sorry about the noise. We're getting closer to the restaurant and everything. <laughs> but yeah, let's get up here. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, sorry. It's kind of hard to record and do this, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe the headless husband, just kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See? Oh, or now she's making me tippy toe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm making squat. I'm just kidding. But yeah, we're gonna head back to our room, guys. Alright, see you guys up here.
Sorry about that. We almost ran over a nurse, guys. You want to let them know we're back? We're back, guys. So I'll get at you guys when we get to our room. So I wanted to show you guys this. What are you watching? Just kidding. I didn't want to show you guys that. But I want to show you that today is Sunday. It's Halloween day. And I'm hooked up onto the monitors again to give baby a stress test. Want to say hello, babe? He's laying on my stomach because, one time why? It's the only way we could get her to sit still. Sorry if he looks kind of tired. He had a rough night. We'll explain that later on. But yeah. It was a rough night. It was crazy. Guys. Whenever she, um. Pretty much whenever Harmony's on the stress test monitor, she does not stay still for the 20 minutes that she needs to unless he's by her, which is really cool. We already got her daddy's little girl, guys. <laughs> um. But yeah, the good thing is, is that, um. I finally used the bathroom. Yesterday. Well, last night, and today we get released to go home. Um, so we don't get released till this evening, because there's a couple of uh, things that they need to do and talk to me about first. But yeah, pretty much, this is where we're at now. We're doing her daily stress test, which everything's been fine with her still. But yeah, she won't stay still unless her daddy's next to her. Guys, I'm so happy we finally, finally get to get home. We're getting discharged. Ooh. Where are we going, babe? We're heading well, fresh to Mama Bear's. Then we're going home. We're finally, finally. going home. <laughs> oh man, my last night was more down the story. Let me tell you guys. Maybe you could do a story time in a separate video, or we could add it in this one, too. Yeah, oh, okay. let's go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, our baby. Here he is now.